we got some good news recently. Our longtime colleague and Fifth Estate host Hannah Gartner has been named to the Order of Canada in recognition of her outstanding talent and exceptional contribution to the country. May I say that we here at the show were not surprised. The Fifth Estate. Good evening. I'm Hannah Gartner. Her decades-long career took her around the world, from the Middle East to the Swiss Alps and beyond. Hannah's outstanding talent, of course, is interviewing, especially asking difficult questions. He corroborates the testimony of others who see you as domineering and verbally abusive. Rory is, Rory and he is, adds that you are also a physically violent man. No, I'm not. I, I'm going to take a break. J'accuse. That's what you're doing to me now. She's also had a way with animals. Others have a very... Ow! <laughs> Their prize pet is a goat that keels over and faints. A friend at the CBC described Hunna the Inquisitor as like a teddy bear armed with a lightsaber. This is one of her finest moments from a story about Canadian drug smugglers in Mexico, known as the Mennonite Mob. She tracked down the Godfather. You're a fugitive from Canada on narcotics charges, possession and trafficking of marijuana. The customs official and the police mm -hmm. are very anxious to have you. Could I ask you one question, just as a parent? How can you make your children act as mules and smuggle narcotics across the border? As a parent, I would like to know this. And in the early 80s, she confronted a convicted mob hitman. What kind of a man are you that you could do it? To do what? Kill people. I found it so easy. A man's life was so easy to take away. Uh... I'm asking myself why I did it. And I can't find no damn answer about it. Money? No. Power? Yes, power. If you wanted respect, you wanted power. Now what do you have? Now you are a man in jail, afraid of being killed. You are a stool pigeon. That's all right. Now let me uh, think about it. Cut it. Do you have an idea how long it'll be before you go? The intrepid Gartner has told so many great Canadian stories, but this may be the most profound. On his gripping documentary about a troubled young inmate named Ashley, whose death in custody changed the use of solitary confinement in Canada forever. Ashley Smith's mother wants you to see the final video recorded the day her daughter died. It was the story that got to me the most, that in many ways I still live with, that distressed me in a way that it's hard to describe. In my mind, it was the story I went out on. It's a story on which I left the fifth estate.